hello friends so today I would like to show you how to convert your Revit drawings to PDF so in this tutorial I will be using my floor plan as example so here I'm using Revit 2021 so for instance if you have your floor plan ready just like my own here I have all the dimensions included, I have the furnitures included, I have all the rooms label, I have them included, and I have the elevations and notations, the section, my cross section, and the longitudinal section. Everything is included. So you might be wondering, after this process, how do I convert it to PDF from Revit architecture? It's quite simple. Just come down to your project browser here, then come to Sheets, click on the Sheets, then right click on it. When you right click on it, you see New Sheet. Click on that New Sheet. In this dialog box, you will see several types of uh, border, drawing border. So choose the one that fits your floor plan. It depends on the size of your floor plan. Your the size of your floor plan will determine the type of border that you will use so in this in my own case i would like to use the 11 by 17 horizontal border so once you click on it click ok so now we have our borders imported into our project here so in this border i already had it uh, my border and i arrange it in such a way that it will fit the drawing that I'm doing, I have all the drawing title, sheet number, dates, I have everything arranged. So now, how do we import the view of our floor plan to this border? Quite simple. So I have my own floor plan in this view, finished floor level. So what you simply do is click that view that you have your floor plan either you are doing elevation or section or any kind of drawing click on that view then simply drag and drop that view into the border that you imported so you have something like this so try to center the viewports inside your border there you go So I have my floor plan inside my border. Oops. It seems like this border does not want to contain my floor plan. But anyway, just for example, you may decide to use the other size of the border that appears under that sheet that you open. So here I have my, my floor plan inside the border the way I want it. You may simply decide to use the arrow key to center your floor plan properly so here i have the this is my ground floor plan so to edit this name simply okay you may decide to reduce the outline of this name so to edit this simply come to the view right click on the view then come down to rename so i have this plan to be my ground floor plan Okay, so once you do that, you ask you, would you like to rename corresponding level and views? Say yes. You see, it's changed to ground floor plan. So I would like to move this into the drawing tab, into my border rather. So I would like to have something like this. The drawing is not well arranged the border seems to be small for that drawing so when you when you're doing your own you may decide to choose a larger border for your own drawing so here I have my ground floor plan title so to edit this line simply click here and for this dot drag it so that's it so if you want to print this drawing to pdf 
simply try to center this border in this viewport try to ensure that you center this border in this viewport that we are so i try to center this into the viewport then simply click on ctrl p which is print so choose microsoft print to pdf yeah choose it current windows you may decide to use visible portion of the current window so to check if our plotting is right click on preview so it seems the border is too small for that sheet close ctrl p again then click select view sheet select a view sheet or current window rather so let's click on preview and see the difference yeah so with this you could simply print on a paper and it'll be very visible to view so let us try that out print press ok so i'd like to save this file on my desktop i already have the desktop location here so let me just simply rename it as ground floor plan let's save all right so let's check it out okay so this is it this is the pdf file of the converted floor plan so you might decide to choose a larger border for your own drawing in order to have all of these things arranged well all of this all of this all of this you decide to choose a larger border in order to arrange it well thank you guys for watching if you find this video helpful please subscribe to the to this channel and watch out for other Revit tutorial and 3d max that i will be posting very soon